how to complete the mandatory section of the materials benchmark. Welcome back to Textile Exchange Data Reporting Portal. In this third video of our how to video series, you will learn about section 2, materials portfolio, an essential component of the materials benchmark survey. The materials portfolio is the only mandatory section. All other sections of the survey are optional. However, to be listed on the Material Change Index or the MCI public listing and to receive a holistic scorecard, you must complete all survey sections as explained in our previous video. Let's begin. The materials portfolio collects your uptake data across all raw materials. We use raw material as an overarching term which includes fibers that can be spun into yarn as well as non-fibers that are not spun into yarn but are otherwise made into textile products or product components. To complete the materials portfolio section, you need to prepare your company's uptake data relating to materials sourced during the reporting period. Please note the reporting data for the current year is always the previous year's data. For example, for the 2023 survey, companies share their most recent data available, which is from 2022. Uptake data is important for tracking the volumetric use of conventional and non-conventional materials so as to understand your progress year on year. Let's get started with Section 2 Materials Portfolio. This section begins with the Materials Portfolio selection. The first question asks, what fibers and raw materials are your company sourcing? Please answer by selecting from the list. For example, cotton, wool, leather, cashmere, etc. Next, you need to indicate which ones are you able to report uptake data for by ticking the box Can Report. Once this has been selected, you're ready to report the uptake volume of those materials in the survey. Please note, once you have chosen to report on a particular raw material, it is mandatory for you to provide the materials uptake. Please only tick Can Report if you have the uptake data for that material, as incomplete data will not be accepted. If you are new to benchmarking journey, we suggest starting with your priority materials, but there is the option to report for all your used materials. Save and continue to go to the next page. You will now see your chosen material sections on the survey ready for you to start adding data. Start with your first selected material. The first subsection is about smart targets at raw material level. Smart targets are important for defining exactly what your company wants to achieve as well as enabling you to measure progress. Does your company have smart targets to increase uptake of non-conventional materials? The objective of this question is to assess your stance on these targets and to see whether these targets are public. Please note, for Sustainable Cotton Challenge and Recycle Polyester Challenge signatories, your selection needs to align with the commitment that you stated in the sign-up form. Make sure you save your answer before you move on. Next is all about uptake data for selected materials. This subsection is for detailed reporting on raw materials portfolio. Uptake data identifies the volume of raw materials your company sources. This data helps to track the impacts of your raw materials. Tracking raw materials uptake enables a company to quantify how much conventional and non-conventional materials it is using enables the company to set targets for transitioning to non-conventional or preferred materials and helps them work towards those targets. We encourage you to report the actual raw material feedstock used. However, to date, many companies are only able to estimate the uptake through product, fabric or yarn bought or sold. Where this is the case, our conversion rates offer a standardized approach to convert product, fabric and yarn used back to fiber for a consistent baseline measurement. Start by selecting the raw materials your company uses and start to complete the table. Uptake. By clicking on the blue pencil next to Uptake, you will see a pop-up window to report your uptake. There are four reporting tiers, product, yarn, fiber, or fabric. If you select fabric, you will see that the length, width, and GSM cells will open for your inputs. Next. Add the volume of material that your company sows during the reporting period. There are three units to choose from, kilograms, metric tons, and pounds. If possible, we recommend reporting in metric tons. Select the product as apparel, home textile, or mixed. 
As a minimum, we expect companies to specify whether the fiber uptake is used for apparel or home textiles. The mixed option is only applicable for those who use textile exchange uptake calculator. Please note, mixed will also only report fiber and no other reporting tier. The conversion rate, hence, will always be 1 regardless of the reporting tier. After completing, click on Done. If you are unable to provide the exact uptake volume, you will need to provide the estimated percentage. Estimates allow the system to approximate the final uptake. Please note, since this is a scored section, there is a 5-point reduction in score for estimated values. You will notice that the product claim, country of origin, producer mapping and program targets are all in the same table with an individual pop-up window for each. This is to ensure you have one centralized place to add all data related to your selected materials. Product-related claims are used to show that a product or category of products are certified or contain certified content and are linked to an assurance process. Special care must be taken to ensure that claims are true, accurate and not misleading. Country of origin refers to the country where the raw material is grown, cultivated or otherwise produced. Different countries of origin are associated with different geographical, environmental, socio-economic and political risks. For instance, water scarcity in many semi-arid cotton growing regions. They also may be time dependent and evolving, for example with changes in rainfall patterns, etc. Knowledge of feedstock origin will be important for adequately responding to environmental and socio-economic risks and opportunities, as many are context specific. Here, we are looking for percentage volumes of raw materials that you are able to track back to the country of origin. Producer mapping. This question is asked to see if participants are able to track back to producers or farmers level. Program targets here are asked at the raw material level. As this section has a lot of data input from you, be sure to keep saving frequently to avoid loss of data. Upon completion, please save and continue. The next subsection is about risk prioritization assessment. Can your company identify the key risks and associated sourcing locations linked to the production of its raw materials? If your company identifies it, it will help you in actively managing risks and opportunities as well as help to ensure your company's long-term stability. Issues such as climate change, water availability and access, land use and biodiversity loss are important considerations for most, if not all, businesses. Using the Global Fiber Impact Explorer, this question itemizes risks directly associated with the production of raw materials. In this question, companies are asked to identify risks associated at the country level. Once completed, please save and continue. The last subsection of the materials portfolio relates to the feedstock of your company's recycled materials. This will require information such as the share of pre-consumer or post-consumer recycled materials, textile or non-textile feedstock, as well as the recycling method, whether it is chemical or mechanical, for example. Please do not forget to save this last subsection of the materials portfolio section. This brings us to the end of this video. We hope this gives you an in-depth understanding of the mandatory section 2 materials portfolio and the importance of these questions asked in the materials benchmark survey. Our aim is to help you track your progress and impact year on year. Thank you.